I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. strawberry jelly roll cake so the first part is going to be done on the stove we're going to be making the strawberry jam to uh, go on the jelly roll so follow us to the stove and we'll get get the jam made and then we'll be back in front of the camera to do the the cake portion we'll see you in a few okay we are at the stove now and we're going to make our strawberry jam so in goes our strawberries in goes our sugar hey, and our water and we're just going to stir this until it breaks down and, and everything solidifies into it's actually going to take a probably about five to seven minutes for it to actually render down and uh, we may even use our meat chopper to help chop up our strawberries yeah. i did cut them into smaller pieces that actually but is a good idea this looking so good. Now we need to let this simmer on low for like 10, 12 minutes. Overall, it was a total of about 15, but we let it on uh, high for the first three to four minutes. And then we reduced the temperature to low. All right, guys. I'll show you what it looks like when we get ready to put it on our cake. It's gonna so be good. I am making the cake portion of our strawberry jelly roll cake. So I've got salt and baking powder here, and I'm just gonna Kind of mix it together with my flour a little bit and then set it aside because i'm going to start with the wet ingredients first so i have sugar four eggs and vanilla all right so i'm going to put my paddle on and then I'm gonna mix this for a few minutes. It's gonna be maybe five minutes or so that this is gonna mix. It needs to be a uh, like a lemony yellow, a pale yellow color. So that's what we're gonna try to get. And then we'll add in our dry ingredients. And then we'll put it in the pan and bake it. All right, y'all. This looks real pale yellow. So that's what we want. I'm gonna add in the two tablespoons of oil vegetable oil. I'm going to mix it in real good and then we'll put our flour in. Alright, I'm going to start adding a little bit at a time. spatula so I can scrape the bottom of the bowl. Spread this out to the edges all the way around. All right, this is going in the oven at 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. And then we will move on to the next. All right, y'all, my cake is out of the oven. I've got this sitting here ready to make the cream cheese frosting that's going to go on it. But first, I need to take this out of the pan. This is, has to be done immediately as it's, soon as it comes out. I found a simpler way to do this than putting powdered sugar on it and a, t and a tea towel and everything. I utilized my parchment paper. 
So I'm going to gently start rolling this within the parchment and just roll it up nice and tight so that when it cools down, it will have that memory of that roll and it will roll right back up to it. So I got it a little, a little tight. All right. And then we'll let it sit here and cool down for about 15 minutes and then we'll unroll it and put our frosting on and our strawberries on and roll it right back up and then we're good to go. All right, y'all, I am making the cream cheese filling that's gonna go on the strawberry jelly roll cake. So first, I'm gonna put my heavy cream in and I'm gonna beat it to stiff peaks. And then I'll remove it and put it in a bowl so I can mix the cream cheese part of it. So I'm gonna get this started and get it whipped up. y'all I'm putting my cream cheese in I just whipped up my uh, whipping cream and I'm gonna put my powdered sugar in with the cream cheese and a teaspoon of vanilla oh that looks good all right put my paddle on and we're good to go all right here is my cake, and I'm gonna unroll it. And I'm gonna put my strawberry jam, spread it out over it. You don't want to go all the way to the end down here because when you roll up everything pushes that way so you'll end up with a bunch of stuff escaping the jelly roll Next, we're going to put our whipped cream cheese on there. Spread that out. I think that's all I'm gonna put on. We can actually take and put the rest of it in a piping bag and decorate the top with it if we want. It's like I said, if you roll it up and it's too full, it'll escape, it'll just push out. All right. Now we just start rolling it up and peeling the paper away as we do it. And as you can see, it's pushing.
Elsie wants to put a little bit of, you know, I'm not, I got to go the extra mile. <laughs> <laughs> she's always going the extra mile. What do you call that? I'm, I'm extra. You're, she's extra, extra special. You know, she had a birthday this week. Yeah, I'm another year older. She is. I don't feel no different today than I did the day before my birthday, so I guess that's a good thing and a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. I think it's a great thing. Here. All right. Are we going to put powdered sugar on top of this? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go grab that. I should have extra strawberries left over too. Mm -hmm. So we have to put this in the refrigerator. And we'll let it sit up until dinner time, so. Looks pretty. It's beautiful. All Smell right. Smells so good too. All right, guys. We will see you in our next video. Y'all have a blessing. And I'm Debbie. And we're, we're Two Sisters Southern, Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.